got a little part two video on the Electrolux. Because a few things have happened, so I thought I'd bring you up to date and obviously we need to see if we can hear it running. I want to, before I strip it all down, check that it works. So, let's have a little part two. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? The Electrolux Model 12, or XII, as I found out this is. Many thanks to Mr. Doug, Doug Smith from the Canadian Electrolux Museum. Gave me a lot of information about this. This is a Model 12. It's an American-made machine, but it was this model that they changed from making them in it was Sweden. And then they used to send them over to America. And apparently a whole boatload of these went down in the sea. So the Electrolux company decided, no, this is going to cost us a fortune. They set up shop in America. So this is made in Greenwich, Connecticut. Possibly one of the first. I don't think it's a really early one. I think it's one of the first. So, yeah. Bit of interesting information there. What else can you notice? Well, I have been busy and I've had a genuine leather handle made. It's not 100% fitted yet. The little axle that I made for there needs a little bit of tweaking. I need to sort all that out. This is just a proof of concept. Got a couple more as well. The guys made me a load and they're all in here. Along with a few other bits, I have rewired, I've just chucked a better bit of cable on so we can see if it works. The problem was actually the switch. The switch wasn't clicking. It's a really interesting switch. Put a little video up for you. But obviously, as you can see, it never went to the full on. I'm hoping that that was the key. So I've, I've, I've had a tweak about, so I've, I've redid the wiring only temporarily. It'll have a, a nice black cable on it. Like apparently it should have had a black cable as well. That awful ruined cloth one wasn't genuine anyway. So that's fine. I have some more handles. The guy changed the spring. This one, it's got a hacksaw blade as its spring. And it's not too bad, but he then went shopping and I've got some samples here and found some different type of metal. And that's what these are. So when I tweak the bar that I'm using, I shall fit one of these. I've got a few. I've got dark brown, black, and tan. And I think the dark brown one, I don't know. See, I've seen pictures of them with that. But that seems a bit too light for me. I think I do prefer these darker colours but we shall have a look around and I'll see what happens so first we need to see if this old girl's going to fire up it should do because the motor looks fairly clean so there's a way to find out though isn't there it's all plugged in hasn't exploded it's not live Not See, that to me is what an Electrolux should sound like. Smooth, whisper quiet. It's got, I can lift it up with the suction. The air coming out the back is cold. We'll just unplug it. I don't like that plug. <laughs> that doesn't, that worries me that plug, but excellent, that runs well. So this is basically a cosmetic refurb, just lots and lots of cleaning. If only we had some tools to go with it. Ha! Huh. Hang on, what's this? It's a box. Came the other day, because you see the owner also thought, God, wouldn't I have some tools? Ha! Huh. So me, the owner, 
somebody in America that the owner knows, an employee of his, and Mr. Doug Smith himself spent a couple of weeks backwards and forwards. And in this box is what we came up with. The repacked worries me a little bit. But, you know, coming from the US, I suppose that's the price you pay. It could be anything. It might be for hardcore drugs. I'll soon stop the video then. And enjoy them. So, what is in this box? Well, we have an Electrolux spray. But, but none of these are actually for, I think a couple of bits are for the Model 12 itself. Everything is sort of best that we could do. Because you can't just buy the tools for it, obviously. No collector's going to want to sell them. I wouldn't even want to ask for a collector to sell their tools for me. So, this is all sort of best guess. And obviously, some of it is legit. Apparently, Mr. Doug did say that, you know, yes, this is that, and no, this isn't that. So let's see what we have. Well, we have half of a sprayer. Only half of a sprayer. No jar yet. The seal is a little bit knackered, but that's not the worst. I, I doubt they're going to use it for spraying, so as long as it looks pretty. That's actually already very well polished, so that's not going to need too much at all. So we have a sprayer, bit of it. Sure, I can find a glass jar. I've probably got one somewhere. Oh, it's in here. Don't actually know. Uh, let's put this stuff over here. What else? In here is a wand. Apparently these ones are the correct ones. Ooh, a little bit, these are good polish. Loving the Electrolux logo embossed and stamped into the top of the one. So we have one one, we have two ones. Yes, in DVD. Two ones, so that's good. Apparently they were so obviously these aren't Model 12, but it was the same style. So that will do. What else? Can't remember what we ordered. I'll be honest. This is a couple of eBay listings. You can buy and sold these. You sold these, you comment. This is like a couple of eBay listings worth of stuff. There is a bent end with no hose. Again, a, you know, the correct type of bent end. A hard floor brush. Gosh, that needs a good polish. There is a hard floor brush with very good bristles. I'm quite glad that that's screwed on because it means I can take it apart to obviously get the metal polished versus the plastic. <laughs> Too bad, but you bit old, new. Of course, it's old. <laughs> it's from the older day. Silly Becco. Um, ooh, what's in here? Ah, this is an upholstery tool. Not the correct style for the Model 12. They changed it after the 12 to have the suction relief channels, but that bit is identical. So we made the call and said that will be lovely. The atomizer. You put your probably very dangerous chemically bits and bobs in there. Put the diffuser on. And I think I'm right in saying it sits. Oh, maybe it goes into the hose. It goes somewhere. I haven't got it. Well, it doesn't go anywhere, does it? I'm sure. Where does it go? So I have to find the manual. <laughs> I thought it screwed on to the end. Ah! Right. It almost does. I forgot. On this, you've got to take this off and then screw it into the end. 
with that off, oh, it, 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 it still doesn't, but I think that's how it's supposed to go. So that, that can look pretty. <laughs> Ooh. What's in here? No idea what's in this. Ah. Oh, I, wasn't, I was hoping that's not make a mess today. Ah, here it is. Look. Here is the glass jar. For the spray, so I need to find an O-ring to go in there. That 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 shouldn't be too difficult. Buy a scrap old killer jar. There we go. Look, we do have a um, sprayer, and obviously that goes in its box. Obviously dismantled for shipping. Fair enough. Very sensible. I like it. What's in this little envelope here? Obviously this has all been repacked, this isn't how it would have arrived in the US. Ah, these! Yeah, Mr. Doug pointed these out to me on eBay. These are older style, but still very modern, two pin plugs to replace. Again, this isn't original. This one. And I saw these via eBay UK and thought, oh, they're really good. I could buy 45 pounds shipping. They're like $15, 45, it was like 60 quid. So I've again got in touch with the owners of American Contact and said, look, do you reckon you could buy these and then send it over with all this and obviously save a fortune? This is also for the Hoover 800. This is literally just me going, oh, you know, the Hoover 800 needs a new cable because it's got a horrible replacement. Let's just have a black face. Same with this. I needed plugs, and obviously these are you know, quite expensive to buy in the UK because you don't use them. From America? So that was a good find. Uh, right, we're so getting to the end now. Just these two bags of bits to go. in here well I think I know what's in here it should be an floor tool again not the original floor tool itself but certainly one in fact it might be it does actually match this ish this is a heart of a, a carpet tool look it's got the Oh, I, I knew what that was called, the little grid that comes and goes, because it's written on the side of the one for my um, automatic G. By the way, there is the floor brush, that's good. Gosh, that needs a good polish, doesn't it? Excellent. So there's that. In here, we have some more tools. have another basically whole tool in here and this isn't from the model 12 I know this isn't from the model 12 this is from I think it's from an Olympia oh god they do like sticky that plastic to package this or what the heck There we go. So they are the same one, same stamping, same size. The only difference is, and this is going to be why I'm not going to use them, they don't have that lovely Electrolux branding in them. And they're actually a bit more bent up. So we won't use those. Yeah, they're, they're not in as good condition.
But again, remembering, oh my God, remembering this particular lot, it wasn't bought for that. It was bought for this home. Which, because obviously it didn't have a hose, and now it does. We went for, you know, this will do. Again, it is very difficult to find a genuine hose. Plus, if you did find one, it's going to be really good. That was my thought on the matter when they were going through. Obviously, yes, you could probably find a most beautiful looking hose. If it's old air, it's scrap. That's why I've got the plastic one on my automatic Jeep, because I just didn't bother. This, apparently, according to the seller, because I did ask to check, I said, oh, pop a message does hold air. So if you sold this, we're about to find out. And finally, ah yes, yeah. another hard floor tool. In fact it's a different hard floor tool because it's bigger. And it has Electrolux embossed in it, so I think this is going to be the one that we use. This one, who knows? But yeah, so this is yes, yeah, so this is the one that we shall use. They're, 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 they're both fine, I'll be honest. But yeah, we don't use that one. So there's a mess down here. I think we should see if the hose holds air first, because I can keep you there. So we'll plug, now I know this isn't going to kill me, we'll plug this back in, I'm still not going to touch this plug like that. We'll pop that out of the way, let me just stick it into the adapter. Put that back there, has the cloth bag in it, so we don't have to worry about that. So we'll pop that in there, we'll fit the hose. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing coming from there. I don't think this hose holds air. Personally, there's a way we can find out, and that is to quickly get Henry out with his superior suction power. Oh. What a shame. Oh. In fact, it might be there. Ooh. There's a bit of a hefty kink in there. Let's see what that feels like. Yeah, I don't know where it's leaking. Speaking from there. And there's a bit of suction coming through. But it could be worse. But I think I'll have a word, I'll say that that hose wasn't any good. If they can't find another one, I'll be honest, I'm not even sure it's worth looking. Because these are a bane in collectors' lives. Some people know how to re-line them, I don't. I think I shall be going for plan B, which is to get another one of these adapters. And another hose. Do I do to get embryos? <sighs> Bit of a shame, but obviously we can we can pretend it works. But I won't do two ones, and I have to stand up. But using these tools, um. 
there's a light, obviously you can turn it over to have a smaller concentrated suction. Yeah, it's, it's leaking from everywhere. Such a shame. The only way we're about to fix it is to mummify the whole thing and to show me that I have any of this stuff. Because this would probably do it, but we're not going down that route, it will look silly. So yeah, bit of a shame, but there we go, the upholstery tool. Got the hard floor brush. I think I shall go and find another one of those adapters and do that because that's going to be the only real way we're going to be able to do this is by doing that. <laughs> Well, yeah, this doesn't fit either. Now, I don't think this was from this machine. That was something that wasn't. But we can pretend that screws onto the end like that. Oh, I've got some bone to it. In fact, if I do, oh god, yeah. I'm just coming from. Everywhere. Yeah, big gust of air there. But a lot of it is. blowing straight out of this. So, bit of a fail on the old hose, not especially surprised at that. I was hoping it wouldn't, but it was. Hey ho, that way, could be worse. So, here we go. We have more than we had before. I've got a spare metal dusting brush, actually, because I've got two with the automatic G. So I should put one of those with this need to keep this because my hack will be the heavy hose and to make the end fit into there somehow so I'll keep that we have some beautiful ones two lovely perfectly good floor tools some spare handles and I'll probably only use this one the sprayer and of course I have some nice vintage looking but very modern two pin plugs to use when this is done. So I think we, or well, I, am ready to start this refurb. I always like to wait until we have assessed the machine and it looks very, very good. It sounds perfect, so as long as it sounds that perfect when it is done, it should be all right. <sighs> Next thing to do for me is to get it all apart, try and give it a bit of a polish. So. That'll be for me to do, but for now, for this video, for you, this part two, I just need to thank you very much for watching and say that I shall see you soon. So, bye bye.